Hello everybody, I'm Spark249, welcome to AN Escape Series number 2, The Closet. I finished recording AN Escape Series 1, The Car, earlier, and I just figured I'd jump straight in and do the second version, or well, the second game in this series. So there's another point and click escape, uh, oh, sort of escape the room game, but this one was obviously escaping a closet. So once again, there is no plot, no story, no motive. We're in a new, wake up in a new location. We have no idea what's happened. So explore, pick up items, click everything. And I've learned to click everything because of that stupid ceiling. Three, two, one. Well, this is so I got closer. It's good. There's a pocket there. Pocket with nothing in it. What the heck is that? A pocket watch. A non-descript, a non-descript box. Oh, oh yeah. Old photo. There's a ring. And there's a clock in the background that I noticed that clock. What the heck? Mini crowbar. Didn't even mean to do that. Um, a note. Old man Brown made a journey to town for his ring was askew so they fixed it with glue. Soon to be a treasure passed down. Fix a ring somewhere with glue? The key to time is in time itself. The watch must be open first. The cover latch seems to be jammed. The open end of this coat hanger is too thick to use. That's a bit mean to the coat hanger. Haha, see the ceiling? Whoa. I can't get... Oh, I can get that down. But I need a key. The wall seems to be scratched up. What about this wall? Is there anything in this wall? No? What about a nondescript box? There we go, I made a wire rod. The wire rod can open it. I'm way ahead of you this time, game. There's a time there, and that's 25 to 4. How do I... A tiny key. Does this unlock the thing in the ceiling? I think I'm doing a lot better than I did last time. A shorted out bulb. And a gigantic lever. What on earth did that do? What? What's this witchcraft? What's this? A personal organizer. Well, I'm going to need a code for that. An envelope. Dearest grandson, as I grow older in age, I feel it is time to pass on a gift of long ago. Just as my grandfather and his grandfather did, I give to you this heirloom of the family. Keep it close. Gramps, November 17th, 1987. Note. Young man blue, a dashing vision of new, the key to his cadet, a day he'd never forget. For this game, the final clue. A day he'd never forget. The date is the co combination. So, November is the 11th, so 11 17, 1987. Okay, it's only six characters. So, 11. 1787. I'm doing good at this game! What the heck sort of keyhole is that? What the heck are you? Shoehorn? Do you open this? You do open this! A ruby ring. What's that for? Oh. Hold up. No, there's nothing there. Does the ruby ring fit in this? No, I can't use the ruby ring in the indentation, apparently, because if I try and click on it... Okay, ceiling. Does this mean I can go back? This does mean I can go back. This still has the same pentagonal lock, though. Dang it, I was doing well up until this point. Old man Brown made a journey to town for his ring was askew so they fixed it with glue. 
Soon to be a treasure passed down. I don't have glue. I've used all of these items thus far. Hmm. Let's go back to the blue room. There's nothing else in there. Young Man Blue, a dashing vision of new. The key to his cadet, a day he'd never forget. For this game, the final clue. What? I've done the day he'd never forget thing. Is there any item at all I can use on this thing? Okay, that was easy. Needs to be combined with something. Did that work? Yes, I've got a ruby key. Time! 5 minutes 52 seconds. That is literally a quarter of the time it took me to do the last one. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode, guys. I'm Spark249.